Well, we need prayer everywhere in this world. Please have mercy upon Oakland. 
when this life journey comes to an end. We'd like others must quit this walk of life and study water all beyond the way every day will be Sunday and Sabbath will have no end. In the name of Jesus, we pray this prayer. Amen. Let the Holy Ghost lead you. Let the Holy Ghost lead you. Oh, let the Holy Ghost lead you.
mission by the choirs. God is on our side. Amen. I know one thing is time you want to be on God's side. Amen. When things are happening in this world, you don't hear what I'm saying. Things are so terrible now. Oh, have mercy. We need God. Amen. Yes. I tell you what, you now say it for you. I need God. Amen. I need him in the morning. Yes. I need him at the day. Yes. When I lay down, I need him. Amen. We don't know what's going on around us, but it's not safe. It's not safe without God. We need him, too. Amen. Oh, yes, sir. Sing good. Say that, say that.
by Sister Elaine Barfield.
stand before these, your people. I pray thee in the name of Jesus to take me out of self, that your name will be glorified. Oh, that some soul will be saved and some soul will be stricken. We pray this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray this prayer. Amen. We're just thankful to be together tonight. Sister Lisa, you want to make a quick announcement about our upcoming 20th year anniversary, Pastor Church's anniversary. Amen. to God, double honor to you, Pastor Scott, to the officers, and to everyone. I thank God for this blessed opportunity. You can never get tired of saying, God has brought us another yes, 20 years. Yes, yes. Yeah. Right, 20 right. years. How, nobody but God can sustain nobody. people That's right. That's through it all. I can see if it was uh, full of roses, but the church go through. And the Lord has kept this pastor in church. Yes. We have a lot to celebrate. Yes. A lot. Our thing for this year says for 20 years, 20 years, God has used Pastor Scott and Great St. John Metropolitan Missionary Baptist Church to actively seek out those who need his love, his grace, and his salvation. And then the scripture tells us in Hebrews 6 and 10, for God is not unrighteous no. to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. The Lord, he is going to bless us to celebrate our 20th anniversary on Sunday afternoon. God is going to bless us. He don't bring us this far and then leave us. No. May the 19th at 4 p.m. And our special guest will be Pastor Willie C. Estes and the New Strangers Home Missionary Baptist Church. Yes. And then on Sunday afternoon, May 26th at 4 p.m., right. our special guest will be Pastor Kiva L. McNeil and L. Bethel Missionary Baptist Church. Amen. And then on Friday night, that's our night, May 31st at 6.30 p.m., Great St. John Metropolitan, we will celebrate 20 years yeah. that the Lord has kept us. Yeah. And then Sunday afternoon, June 9th, at 4 p.m., our special guests will be Dr. Earl Ward and Star Bethel Missionary Baptist Church. Amen. All are welcome. God is blessing and keeping us, and we are going to enjoy ourselves. Amen. Thank you, and God bless. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Sister President Amen. of our pastor's aid department. Amen. And Grace St. John, I want to once again thank you for today's pastoral day. Amen. You, I like reality. Amen. I like to hear honesty. Amen. 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 See, honesty flows both ways. Amen. You want to hear honesty, right? Amen. Then I want to hear honesty. Amen. Amen. We go to Jerusalem, and my late pastor preached this message, and some, I, I tweaked some, a lot of, a lot of uh, the messages, some of the messages that he has in the past preached but we go to Jerusalem, council, court, All right. proceeding around 45 to 46 AD, where the Apostle Paul is given permission to speak yeah. in defense yeah. for himself yeah. against the false accusations brought forth by the high priest and the council, which was made up of the set of scribes, Pharisees and Sadducees. Right. 
they had all ganged up on the Apostle Paul. Because what we talked about this morning, the and the message is almost. almost. You have to make a decision. Yeah. And we talked about how this apostle met Jesus on the, the, the Damascus Road. Yeah. And uh, the Lord. Jesus convinced him that he was alive. Now some years later, we find him, uh, as I forestated, he was arrested. And the Pharisees and the Sadducees were fighting against him and over him and the Pharisees for him and the Sadducees against him and then the Pharisees now we see have combined with the Pharisees uh, and the, uh, the Sadducees and the scribes and the high priests to try to get rid of Paul. Right, 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 right. It's amazing how your enemies will come together. They will fight and disagree against one another, tooth and nail. But when it comes to you talking about Jesus and living about Jesus, they will unite against you because they're going downstairs. They're going to hell. They, they, they're not safe. And they don't want anybody else safe because they don't want you talking about Jesus. And this is what Paul is talking about. All the most, all of the years of his ministry, he was talking about Jesus alive. So we find in this court, we go to the court now in Acts, the 26th chapter, verses 1 through 7, where it says, Then Agrippa said unto Paul, Thou art permitted to speak for thyself. Yeah. You know, when a Christian have an opportunity to speak, uh -huh. that's power. Yeah. Man. I'm not going to say it's dangerous, but it's... <laughs> I tell you what, it's an opportunity. Yeah. The Bible, and then we go on to say, then Paul's Stretch forth the hand uh -huh. and answer for himself. Yes. I think myself happy. Yes. King Agrippa, uh -huh. yes. because I shall answer for myself yes. this day before you. Touching all the things whereof I am accused of the Jews. Yes, yes. Especially, listen now, look at him in the court. All right, all right. Especially because I know you to be an uh, expert in all customs and questions which are among the Jews. Yes, now the Lord's yes. not going to put you in a situation that you don't know how to deal with those who you're talking about. So here he is in court, permitted to speak, and King Agrippa and his wife, uh, Bernice, is there, and they're listening now to all these false accusations about Paul is going to lead a revolution, etc., etc. And then he goes on to say, wherefore, Paul is speaking, wherefore I beseech thee to be to hear me patiently. I got something to say. My manner of life from my youth, which was at the first among my own nation at Jerusalem, know all the Jews, they know who I am, which knew me from 
the beginning, if they would testify that after the most strictest sect mm -hmm. of our religion, I live a Pharisee. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, was, I was right on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't uh, go to the right or left. I was right on being a, a strict Pharisee. I yeah. observed and I stood and I, uh, I honored that position of being a Pharisee. And now, now, uh, King Agrippa, now I stand and am judged for the hope of the promise made of God yeah. unto our fathers, All right. unto which promise our 12 tribes instantly serving God day and night. Yeah, yeah. Hope to come. Now, I know you know this, King yeah, Agrippa. Yeah. You know the history of the Jews. Yeah. How they uh, look day and night for the hope and the promise of the Messiah. Yeah. Right. I, I know you know this. I know you've studied this. Uh -huh. so, so, I'm not here on a humbug or just... Right. And let me just say it in our own terminology. Blow his smoke. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He goes on to say, For which hope's sake, King Agrippa, I am accused of the Jews. Right. Now, I'm accused of what they are supposed to be practicing. Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm accused of them waiting for the Messiah, the right. promise. Right. Right. Uh, and now here I am on trial for what they're professing a hope in. Right, right, right. So we find that uh, uh, he goes on to press his claim. Mm -hmm. And uh, he began to talk about judgment uh -huh. and the coming uh, apocalypse the final judgment. Yes. And all he was saying as he stood there, mm -hmm. this promise came yeah. through Jesus. Yeah, right. yeah. And uh, as he was talking, uh, the governor said, Paul, Paul, shut up, man. You, you, you're crazy, man. You, 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 you've got too much learning, man. You know too much. That is, gone, you've gone crazy. You've gone mad. You, and that means you're going crazy. Right. Yeah. And look at Paul in a calm spirit. Yes, sir. Look at him in the courtroom. Mm -hmm. Say, no. Uh, Governor Festus, no. I'm not mad. I'm not crazy. Right, right, right. King Agrippa know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. he, he made King, King Agrippa his witness. Uh -huh. Bad King Agrippa, he's, he's mesmerized. He's looking at Paul. He hears the words. Yeah how he's talking about what has transpired through history, yeah. how the promise of Abraham and all the way up through the prophets and all, all the way up to now, and he's been hearing about this Jesus. Uh -huh. He said, I know you've heard the customs. I know you've heard about the coming of the promise right. of the Messiah. Right. And he turns to King Agrippa and says, I know you know King yeah, Agrippa. Right. He made King Agrippa his witness. Right. God knows how to turn and flip the switch oh, yeah. on those who are trying to bring you down. Yeah, He'll make witnesses. He'll make those who are trying to convict you uh -huh. witnesses. Oh, so there he, there he sits and he's, it's almost like he steps out of his mesmerized. Yeah, he comes to uh, back to him, old, his old self. King Agrippa said, and I can, let me just kind of paraphrase this. <laughs> Oh, Paul, man, you, let me tell you, Paul, that King of Ripper's talking. Uh -huh. yes. Paul, let me tell you, you almost persuaded me right. to be a Christian. All right. All right. You almost yeah. Yeah. persuaded me to believe yeah. in this Jesus yeah. you're talking about. Yeah. You almost, almost. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, I know the customs. 
some Zion I've heard, I know. But you almost. How many people today you you talk to them, family members and All right. outside? They, you talk to them about Jesus. Yeah. You talk to them about living right and going to church. Yeah. And they say, yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. I know I'm supposed to be right. going to church. Oh, yeah. I know it's wrong. Right. But I just, I'm not, I'm just, I'm not ready yet. Yeah. That's the word they say. I'm not ready yet. Not Some say, I don't want to hear the truth. No. I'm not ready yet. Well, when will you be ready? All right. Because the scripture never talks about King of Earth again. It never talks about him being ready. It never talks about him being coming to Christ. It never talks about him professing Jesus. He was never ready. He was almost saved, but he was lost. Christian, continue to tell the world because it's their decision to be saved or not saved. Amen. Let them make the decision. Right. You can't make the decision for your family members. No. You can't make it for your brothers or your sisters. No. You can't make it for your aunts or your mothers or your fathers. Right. They got to hear your testimony. Amen. They got to hear your testimony about Jesus. Yeah. And they got to make the decision. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. It's a sad day when People know about going to church. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. They know they need God. Yeah. Right. They come to church and leave out almost saved. Right. That means they're still lost. Right. I've had some to stand in the church here. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. One young man, he stood up. I said, where were you baptized? Uh, where were we said, uh, 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 he didn't know where he was saved. Yeah. You know why? Because he wasn't saved. When you are saved, you know the day. You know where. You know the preacher. You know when you were baptized. You know. Almost saved is not saved. It's just like you rushing to the bank and you got your check in your hand. You got to pay your bill. You're rushing to the bank. You know you got to be there before five. There you park and you put the money in the meter and you run it across the street and the clock says, ding, five o'clock and the door locks. You almost made it to the bank, but you didn't. You locked out. That's the way hell is going to be. Some put off salvation. Some put off salvation every day. Some put off salvation on weekdays. Some put off salvation for two and three and sometimes 20 years. And just when they need salvation, they're lost. Death comes. God gives us minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, years. To come out of our almost. Yes. Yes. Thank God you made the decision yes. that you accepted Jesus yes. in the pardons of your sins. You accepted Jesus. Yes. You're not almost saved, you're saved. Yes. And He saves to the utmost. Yes. Says, I give you life and life more abundantly. He didn't say, I give you death. He didn't say, I give you life and then you have death. He give you life yeah, and man. life more abundantly. Yeah. The adversary comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah, but he said, I come to give you life yeah. and life more abundantly. Yeah, you got life, children, yeah, when you got Jesus. You got life more abundantly. Amen. Yeah. What more can you ask for? Right, right. Yes, Paul stood. Yes, he did. We talked about him this morning. When he met Jesus, there's a change. You're not almost saved when you met Jesus. When you meet Jesus, you are changed. You have a different mind. You have a different outlook on life. Because Jesus gives you that different outlook. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. He knew when he met.
met Jesus that he was alive. Yeah. That was his testimony. Children, yeah. when God saved your life and he brought you out of darkness to, uh, into this marvelous light through yeah. Jesus Christ, yeah. you got a testimony. Yeah. All of us have a testimony. Yeah. Someday, somehow, somewhere, so, and when, we don't know, but we're going to be on trial. Right. Sometimes it's in our living room with our family members. Right. Sometimes it's on our job, yeah. around our desk or in our room or wherever. Right. Sometimes it's at school. You're going to be on trial. Right. But stand boldly yeah. and talk about what Jesus did for you. Amen. How he brought you out. Yeah. How he keep you. Amen. He's a blind regulator. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He'll never let you die. He'll never let you die. We hear about Paul after the court situation, but we never hear about King Agrippa nor his queen because they were lost. The ticket was there. All he had to do was step out of that pride. Step out of that, that humanistic way of I'm in control. They say, Paul, I believe. That's all it takes. You don't have to jump over any hoop. I believe that Jesus is the Christ. I believe that he is the Son of God. Like the eunuch said, what hindered me to be saved? Here's some water. The eunuch said, if you believe with all your heart, you can be saved right now. Yeah. He can, uh, he accepted Christ. Yeah. Come on, baptize me now. Because I believe. I believe that Jesus is the Christ. Yeah. Philip baptized him. And was called away. The, the Bible says he was called away by the Spirit. And the, and the unit went on this way. Now yeah. he was driving his chariot. Because he had Jesus. Tell your testimony to them. Because there are a lot of eunuchs in the world. Blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a taste of glory divine. I'm an heir of salvation. Purchased by God. Listen, born of his spirit, I've been washed in his blood, and this is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior.
Raquel, do you remember when we would be running around the lake and those who were running with me, I had my sandals on. Yeah, but when we stopped, I was saying, thank you, Jesus. I praise him when I'm working out. I praise him when I'm by myself. I praise him when I'm, when I'm with you driving down the highway. I praise him because that's my story. He lives in my heart. He's a mind regulator when I'm troubled. He gives me joy when I'm time of sorrow. Do you know it? Have you called on it? His name is Jesus. Jesus, he's alive. This is the story. Jesus, he's the savior. Jesus, who brought me out. Jesus, yes, he did. Hallelujah. I know it.